Today I am sharing tips and tricks and hacks and DIYs that are going to make a huge impact on your outdoor space but be super budget friendly and easy to put together. These are so beautiful, let's get on into it. We are starting with a gorgeous solar powered lamp. So this was super simple to put together. I grabbed two big bowls. Most importantly, the top bowl needs to be clear, especially the bottom because this is what's going to power our solar lamp. So I needed to keep that clear. So I cover that with painter's tape. I trim away any of the excess. I take these outside and spray paint them with some black spray paint. I love the Rust-Oleum 2X coverage and let these completely dry. I am using a coordinating black solar light from Dollar Tree and then just putting this together. I add a lot of hot glue to get this to stand up, but I knew it needed a little bit of reinforcement, so I did um, put some rope around the bottom. This also added a lot of detail, made it look really pretty, um, but just tightly put this in the hot glue so it's gonna have more of a base, so it has more surface area to hold to, and it's not gonna fall off really easy. Hot glue does melt if it gets a little bit too warm outside, so you might want to change this up for a different adhesive. I'm just using this for my videos to go really quickly, but I love, love, love how this turned out. It looks so gorgeous in the daytime, but even prettier at night, and this actually puts out like a lot of light setting up on the tabletop and adds just a lot of light to my patio where I do want all the corners lit up so it's not spooky to sit out there at nighttime. I wanted to share with you all this trick. Huge planters can be so pricey, and Dollar Tree did have out huge planters last year for just a dollar, but I couldn't find them this year. But if you actually go into Dollar General, they have all different types of tubs like this, and these plastic tubs aren't necessarily marked as a planter, so you can get it a lot cheaper. Now, I just had a ton of old spray paint that I wanted to use for this because I knew it would take a lot, so I didn't want to use like my best brand new stuff. So you can see I'm just mixing in anything that I had and it actually gave it kind of like a cool effect so I'm doing a lot of gold and silver more of like metallic shades but to blend this all in I took a little bit of my stone spray paint and just kind of spritzed it all over it gives it that gorgeous texture that's going to give it more of a high-end look but also blends in those different colors so you're never going to know that I use different colors to cover this and then just to fix it up a tiny bit more, I added some nautical rope around the handles and then planted in some real flowers. This has enough area for real dirt so that my flowers aren't just going to dry up quickly. But this looks so gorgeous setting by an entryway and it looks like it would have costed a lot more. Recently in Dollar Tree, I found all of these gorgeous tote bags. They had several different designs, and I've even been seeing different designs at different stores, so keep an eye out for what you can find. But I wanted to create some fun outdoor pillows with these. So I actually didn't buy cotton or filler for this. I'm just using an old pillow. We constantly go through pillows all the time. Um, so I just like to keep them, a couple of them on hand for projects just like this because it can be pricey to go out and buy like cotton or filler like that. So just keep that in mind. Hold on to your pillows that you don't love or you want to change out. Just grab the tote bags from Dollar Tree. You can easily just kind of hem over the top and then seal it up with some hot glue you also could opt for some fabric glue but this seems to hold really nicely for me I've had this out on the patio for quite a while I've done this in years past and it seems to hold really really well I think the gnomes are perfect for any type of outdoor space I love how you could choose the different color schemes but these really dress up your space and you could pair them with like some nicer outdoor pillows but you're not having to spend like 10 and 15 bucks per pillow but you'll just get to mix in like some really cute pillows without having to spend a fortune Okay, so I found this huge, gorgeous Hello Summer sign from Walmart. It was 20 bucks, a little bit pricey, but I loved it. It was a great size. I wanted to make it over into more my style. But hang on, if you don't wanna spend that much, I'll show you how to dupe this at the Dollar Tree. But 
I know I spent way too much money on this to have to come home and redo it, but it just wasn't my style. And even the back, I didn't love all the reds and stuff. It just doesn't match. And if I put this on the door, I don't want that showing through, so I will paint over the back. But for the front, I just pulled out those flowers. I tried to zoom in and show you all that it just looked really cheap. There was reds, yellows, blues, and just wasn't my color scheme. So I wanted to change these out. I had a ton of leftover Mother's Day flowers. Um, so I had these pink ones on hand already, so that didn't cost me anything extra I added in some little daisies and white flowers just to kind of mix it up glued some little leaves in the front if that's your your style you could fix it up as well just adding in some greenery in with the original flowers but I just felt like it just was really thin and needed more flowers in there so a really cool hack is to pick up these little suction hooks these are awesome from Dollar Tree you can find them in like the tool section or where they have like supplies out at Dollar Tree and these hold to the door really nicely. I hang up my wreath and it holds a lot of weight. And this is just so much better than having to put a wreath hanger over the door where it doesn't close right. If you're not willing to spend the 20 bucks from Walmart, or I think it was 21.90 something, so it could have been closer to $22 then you can dupe this at the Dollar Tree. So just pick up a couple of their little MDF signs, any style will do. I flipped it around backwards, painted it white, added a little wood bean hanger, and then picked up a second sign that I was able to kinda not cut completely in half, but cut a little bit of the bottom off. I'm going to glue this on the front, and that's gonna create the little ledge where I can put like my little florals in. I had this pre-cut hello sign. I just painted it black and stuck it at the top, but you also could cut out hello summer out of your Cricut or um, just use stickers or rub on transfers or anything that you have. I'm using the same pink flowers to kind of stuff this full. You can hot glue them down in place, but this is adorable. Obviously you're not gonna get the same size using Dollar Tree items, but I feel like you get the same look for a lot less, especially if you're kind of working on a budget right now but just for a door hanger that's gonna hang outside, I feel like this is such a similar look. It took me less than 30 minutes to put together and looks gorgeous for an entryway. I've been seeing all of the 3D galvanized pieces for so long now and I never knew what to do with it. So I had this really fun idea since I am dressing up my outdoor space to add in an extra pop of color. I would decorate these butterflies and put them on a stake that I could put down into a planter. I love this bright blue color. It's called Peacock by Waverly Chalk Paints. I painted these and then I'm going to be gluing them down with a bit of E6000 and hot glue. I did trim down my yard stake and that yard stake did come from Dollar General. They have just plain wood for $1 and you can just easily cut them down with a miter box and saw and put these anywhere that you want. So this worked out so great, but it, I felt like the butterflies needed a little bit of extra something. So I wanted to add some cute little antennas in there. So I took some nautical rope, cut them down to size and just kind of let them poke up. And I feel like that added so much detail, looks really cute and just something fun to add some height to your pots and planters. Okay, so I purchased this huge succulent like arrangement from Sam's Club. It has like the prettiest real succulents in it. So I thought I would give it a try, but I felt like it was kind of low to the table. So I wanted to pick this up. I'm using one of Dollar Tree's dollar like mini tubs. These are awesome. And you could even plant your own like fake succulents in there to kind of get the same look. And then I wanted to create a fun DIY that you could set outside um, with the gnomes. I have so many of these gnomes. I picked up a set Several of them so I just wanted to decorate them so I ended up painting them with some red and turquoise I painted their little nose gave them some texture on their beard you could go with any color scheme this was really fun to put together I cut out gnome sweet gnome with my Cricut put that on the bottom uh, wood piece and then glued these so that they stood up
Now, because I am making these for outside, I am going to be covering them with the 2X Coverage Glossy Spray Paint, just in clear, to give them some extra coverage. But this is something I know not to put out in direct sunlight. I'm going to set it under my covered patio area where I can just keep it out of direct sunlight. But this looks so adorable setting outside, adds a lot of bright colors, and I just feel like it makes it have more of a whimsical, cute look. So let me know in the comments down below which one of today's projects was your favorite. Uh, personally, I love the lamp the most. I haven't been, I have been enjoying that so much setting outside and watching it, but so many ways to add the perfect pop of color on a budget, but still get some high end looks. Don't forget to hit the thumbs up button. Make sure you are subscribed and I'll see you in the next one. Happy crafting. Bye.